Okay, Dad, thanks for that lesson. I feel like my dad would back me up on everything I just said, so... Welcome to Silver Sauce, the show where two dudes that love food and beer come together in beautiful harmony. Today, we are making four different types of pizza, including one awesome dessert pizza, which we'll show you in a little bit. We decided to go with a, a nice little farmhouse beer, the uh, Colette from Great Divide Brewing Company. Uh, it's a farmhouse ale, and that's all I'm gonna say about it because this is about food and getting drunk. We're men, we make mistakes, and that mistake today was buying seven different types of cheese. <laughs> but look, that's the most glorious mistake someone can make though. So, I mean, we have the mozzarella, we have habanero jack, we have feta, we have parmesan, we have cotija. Is this, is this goat cheese or is this the cotija? Yeah, that's, that's feta. That's we feta. Got, you know, we just, we have a smorgasbord of cheese today. No one's pooping here for the next three weeks. So honestly though, I'm gonna say something hopefully quasi-intelligent here. Beer and tacos will always win. But tonight, it is pizza and beer. And this is one of my favorite beers. I love Colette. Do you think Tony Colette ever like looks at this beer and is like, yeah. I don't know who Tony Colette is. I smell fruitiness and pepperiness and I... Misophonia is real, folks. Don't ignore it. I get a nice bready quality to that underneath everything. And then those aromas are kind of backed up and reinforced as you exhale. So I think with the pizzas that we're making today. This is gonna handle itself really well. It's gonna lend itself to things that are spicy, herbaceous, things that are a little bit more on that sweeter side than savory. How do you think it's gonna go with cheese? Beer and cheese is kind of a no brainer, but we have so many different types of cheese. We have fresh mozzarella cheese, we have habanero jack. So one, it's a little harder, it's also spicier. So it's probably also borderline going bad since it was $1.69. <laughs> the common palate isn't geared for habanero. Look at Mr. Nico sitting on his ivory tower, judging all the palates down <laughs> below him. Dude, we got like four days with that cheese. We're gonna eat all that tonight, probably. Oh, dude, yeah, if we don't chop it up and put it on a pizza, I'll just eat it like a candy bar. But my assessment, Nico did a really good job assessing this beer. My assessment is, it's fucking tasty. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. It is, it do is. you enjoy drinking it? Do you enjoy eating it? And do you enjoy the two things together? And I think this stuff's like 8%, so uh... So yes, I should and be yes, and yes. I should be feeling it sooner than later, and that's what all I care about, because I'm an alcoholic. When we make these pizzas, I'm just greasing up the pan with a little bit of coconut oil, and that's just so they don't stick, and We'll see if they still stick. I don't know, I've only made this once before. The first ingredient you're gonna need are these uncooked flour tortilla doughs. And we used these on the last episode and they're awesome. They're super versatile and they're proving it right now. We have a, just a pre-made tomato sauce and this is gonna work as a great pizza sauce. This one happens to have some basil in it, which is great <laughs> because we have fresh basil and we have basil pesto. I threw two scoops on there to your preference, whatever. Whether you're working with a big pizza or a large pizza, you wanna work from the center and go outward. So we did about two little scoops, put it down in the center, and then work a spiral. And that spiral is going to carry its way, get to the edge, you just sauced your pizza. This is gonna be a nice meat pizza, but we're gonna have some spice to it. So I have some red pepper flakes. Because we're using a pre-made sauce, you know, it can always use a little extra. So there's some onion powder, oregano. We have some nice grated Parmesan. Mm. Parmesan. And we're just gonna throw a little bit all over these pies. We have some more cheese coming. And then we said it was gonna be spicy, right? So we have habanero jack which is probably not spicy at all for some people that like to eat spicy food. So now, yep, we have some boar's head pepperoni. We have some salami and some pepperoni. We're just gonna, I'm already excited for these. Where's the salami gonna go? Oh, 
We're just gonna cross hatch everything. I'll well, feed you, baby birds. This is so gonna fat leak heavy. all over them. Uh huh. It's gonna be great. And we we just pre-slice these jalapenos of the fresh variety. I have kind of like a broiler style oven, and these are gonna cook really fast. Thought we were done. But we still have some cheese in here, and we need we eat mother of Jesus. We need to top these off. What you think this is just gonna not go anywhere? No, we're covering this in cheese. Our oven is preheated. We're just gonna open this up, and it's. Because PBR goes great with it. PBR goes Coaster. With everything. We're just gonna check on our pizzas, and when they look done, we're gonna pull them out. So the biggest moral that you can learn from this is don't walk away from your food. Check it, and when you think it's done, you know, check it out. If it's solid, if the crust is crispy, if the cheese is bubbling, you're in business. That's money. Okay, Dad. See that? Do you, do you see that? Oh, that is bubbly as f Let's serve them up and slice and dice. All it right. smells fucking good. Pizza. Jalapeno, salami, and pepperoni. A little spicy, got that habanero jack. And you know what, I need another beer. Sam's already on beer too. Yeah, this, we found this somewhere. I don't even know where it came from. Cheers, buddy. On $40, we bought the fixings for four different types of pizza. And, and beer. some beers. It tastes like pizza to me, fam. Super pizza. I decided we're just gonna have Sam make the next pizza. Hold on. I'm missing one crucial ingredient to this whole thing. Your beer. I'm guessing I'm gonna start with one of these. Yes. Maybe three of these, actually. Three of them, yes. We're doing the uh, marinara sauce again. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, someone did their homework and studied. Oh, see, you see the spiral? No. I'm spiral blind. But these are Sam's pizzas. These are I'm my pizzas. And I'm trusting Sam. That's your first mistake. <laughs> I got a little bit of OCD. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. I usually put some spices down at this point. You have some garlic over there that looks really good. Mm -hmm. You know, I would. I do. Where's the spoon? Because I'm sober and uh, sober to sauce. Drop your globs and then just kind of spread it out like you did your sauce. Okay. Yeah, let's let's add some black pepper. A little crushed red pepper again there, oh, gang. Oh, sure, yeah. This is the cotilla, right? Yep. So. It's going to be a saltier cheese, yeah. kind of pungent and funky. So uh, maybe some Parmesan too then, uh, because that's probably a good topper, right? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Cheese Town, bitch. Population you. What should we do, the mushrooms? Yeah, let's do the mushrooms. Certain individuals here are not into are, the mushrooms. First of all, these are Miyataki mushrooms. They're gonna be nice and woody and meaty and there's no meat on this pizza, but I don't think it's gonna be missing at all. Taylor, are you allowed to eat basil? I love basil. And I can still smell that basil. It that basil so is good. delish. And now we have some feta. So we're going for the feta. Two. Per, per pizza, just, per just pizza. crumble them and... Where all the Parmesan go, yeah. Hello, cheese. We're not salting this pizza because some of these... Because you don't need to. Okay, well then here we go. Oh, you got to... Oh, the balsamic. Yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> that is beautiful. That is yeah, beautiful. I bet it is. This is a nice old balsamic. It's going to be sweeter. <laughs> old balls. <laughs> all right, throw, so let's, let's do this. All right, here we go. So this next one smells really good. Let's see, let's see. Like, again, look at that. Tortillas just hold an entire you thing can, of- You can fold them. I've never been a big fan of feta. I've always hated Parmesan cheese. So two of my least favorite cheeses on this, and it's, it is right on. I was thinking the balsamic helps that feta. Either one would be too powerful without the other. And the cotija is kind of funky, but mm -hmm. the basil like kind of helps with that. Yeah, but how's it roll with the Colette? Mm. Yeah, that earthiness of the collet, I think, just rolls with this really good. But that's like where the mushroom comes in, and it ties in that kind of umami quality. But collet with the with the pizza. Woo! Macaulay Collette. <laughs> You've never heard of Tony Collette. It's so simple. It's pesto and mozzarella and tomato. A little salt and pepper on top, olive oil to finish it. Are you getting this? I, I've been getting it, yeah. I'll do it again if you want me to. I'm just gonna, oh, it's, it's, it's kind of stuck. It almost looks like a fried egg. 
We should have put a fucking fried egg on one of these pizzas. I didn't even get to mine right away, and it's... I, I, I know the rigidity of this is kind of a stupid thing for me to keep harping on, but... They retain. They do. They're such good, cheap pizza crusts. Because you get 12 of them in a bag for like $3. The pesto almost like leaked through and turned the pizza dough green. Mm. So now it feels now it feels healthier than it really is. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm gonna try some cold lip. It's like umami jelly. <laughs> mm. Why did you call my mommy? Ginga baloba. Three of us just ate nine pizzas, and we have another one in the oven right now. And that's a lot of decadence, you know. The apples that we got, these are Muslims apples, and. I got them because the canned ingredients were literally apples and water. Mm -hmm. That's it. No syrup, no sweet, no sugar, no anything. It smells really f***ing good. That looks like a mean crisp of a thing. The apples are still hot, so this honey is just liquefying. Oh, f wow. Touche. Here Cheers. we go. For apples in a can, those are a little more uh, solid than I thought they'd be. They have a nice acidity, they're firm, they're awesome. They cooked through all the way, which was great. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at this at all. I think it's because like we had so much heavy stuff. I know we have something- Which is <laughs> just sensitized. We just have something sweet now. It's just a refreshing thing for the palate, but like the toasty ginger snaps mm -hmm. are so good. Does it go with the Colette though? A lot of times sweet stuff brings out the alcohol in a beer. It might bring out a slight astringency, but not, not I think also, too much. These are, these are not cold anymore. No, they are still warm. By any means. I do think there are enough of those notes from the beer that complement the cinnamon and the, the acid from the apples. Yeah. And just like how floral the honey is. I'm gonna call this a four for four success rate and therefore a 100% success rate overall. And not even just like a, like a maybe we got it, but like, I agree with all four of these pizzas with this one beer completely. So if you can get Great Divide Colette, now you know. It or is. you can find some other se farmhouse saison. Wow, akin to Colette. Just start making some pizza. I definitely think this is a contender for one of the ultimate pizza beers. Anyway, I'm Nico, and this is Sam, and this has been Sober to Sauce. See you next time. Look, Burpee's looking. He's like, yo, dog, you can't do this. <laughs>